Hi, my name is Jacqueline and almost eight years ago to the day, I believe God began to show me the link between emotions and disease as I lay in my hospital bed, being told that I had cancer again and the results rolling in, going from bad to worse. It had now spread to bone and liver and so an operation to remove some of the cancer. Six months of chemo, <laughs> radiation and the following year I had two thirds of my liver removed along with my very healthy gallbladder, I might add. But I'm still alive and I'm so grateful to God that he heard my prayer. I don't want to die now that I know the doctors told me I wouldn't survive chemotherapy. I remember asking the orthopedic surgeon, so how long did it take the cancer to eat my hip? And he said about 18 months and I was catapulted back to a situation with a family member. God began to speak and as he started showing me about the link between emotion and disease, God sent some people across my path to confirm what he was saying. Some gave me books as well and everything was just confirming what God was showing me. Some gave me words. Two friends gave me the same word. They gave me reconnaissance and strategy and I observe and strategy and I felt like I was in a movie for the longest time. It was so surreal. Another friend came before the day of the operation. He said, Jax, God told me to tell you, do not look at the facts and the figures for he is in control. And still a pastor said to me, I believe the generations behind you are gonna stand on the shoulders of what you're learning. So the reason I'm saying there's a link between emotions and disease is because this is my second fight with cancer. The first was in 2004 and there was no cancer in my biological family. And then God spoke and he used David and Goliath. And he said, he will be with me like he was with David in the battle. And in 2014, he said to me, you drew a line in the sand almost 10 years ago. And now I'm gonna show you how to cut off Goliath's head. Forgiving yourself and forgiving others is key to healing. Along with being responsible to eat wisely and to declare good things over your life, like I am fearfully and wonderfully made, instead of I'm sick. Do I still get scared? Yes, late last year, some strange things started happening and God even gave me a dream about it. And I felt I needed to go to the doctor, got to the doctor, all the tests, the results were great. And he explained that what had been happening was related to one of the operations. However, before I went to the doctor to get the results, I really felt in my heart that I had to declare it is well, it is well with my soul. And as he is, so am I in this world. And Jesus is alive and he's healthy and he's strong. And so am I. And before I saw the doctor, most of my symptoms had disappeared. Regarding my journey, I can say that prayer, changing mindsets, along with the support and care from family and friends made all the difference. So keep looking up and then look again, up again because God is bigger. And my catchphrase for the last eight years has been, God is bigger. Thank you.